Hi, we are Emilio Tamayo and Jimena Lemos. Welcome to our video blog. Today we will be answering the following question. Is there an absolute moral obligation to be honest? In this video blog, we will get to the conclusion that there is not, because lying can be useful in our daily lives. However, stay till the end to find out how we got there. Well, is there an absolute moral obligation to be honest? The answer is no. There is not an absolute moral obligation to be honest which means telling lies is not wrong. We can prove the previous statement by saying that lying is very useful. When we are really busy, when we need to avoid something, or simply when we don't want to hurt somebody else's feelings, lying is a very useful resource. And why would lying be bad if it makes us feel good? Hedonism says that we can only achieve value and worth through pleasure and satisfaction. Therefore, lying isn't morally wrong, because it makes us feel in those ways. What do you have to say about this, Jimena? I will be refuting Emilio, because we, as humans, have a conscience and a moral compass because of the fact that we are humans. Therefore, we can feel guilt and shame. Those are feelings that our brain is not able to handle as well as others, making us feel in a certain way. When we lie, we experience those feelings of guilt and shame. And according to Epicureanism, all of the things that make us suffer spiritually and or physically are bad. Since guilt is one of those things and lying can make us suffer, whereas it is emotional or physical, when we lie, we fail to be good. Therefore, telling lies is wrong. I will have to disagree with you, Jimena. Lying can save your life which means it's not only useful to get you out of normal life scenarios. There are moments in which you can't tell a stranger where you live or how old you are, basically any personal information, so your best option will be to lie. If we see it from an Epicurean perspective, telling lies will be accepted in this situation, because if we don't, we can get physically harmed, and Epicureanism establishes the importance of a pony, the absence of bodily pain, in order to achieve satisfaction, therefore achieving happiness. Even Aristotle talked about telling lies as skillful when he said, it is Homer who has chiefly taught other poets the art of telling lies as skillfully. You're forgetting about something really important, Emilio, and that is that you can't make an entire rule based only in a particular and isolated situation. In our daily lives, we are rarely exposed to those extreme scenarios in which we are in danger of suffering a significant amount of bodily and or psychological pain. In fact, according to the World Health Organization, only 10.5% of all deaths in the world are caused by acts of violence which means that a person only has one chance out of 10 of dying to violent reasons. Therefore, the statement based on an extremely specific situation shouldn't determine the way I am supposed to live and practice my life. In addition to this, it also should not justify the act of lying. Therefore, there is an absolute moral obligation to be honest. 3.28 AM after a long, long semester and having done at least five final projects, we analyzed this question with a critical and philosophical approach, and we decided that the winner is... This actively demonstrates that there is not an absolute moral obligation to be honest, since lying can be very useful and helps us to achieve the main purpose of our lives, according to Epicureanism and Hedonism, which is to achieve pleasure and satisfaction in order to have a happy and a good life. However, every action has a reaction, or in this case in particular, every decision has a consequence. Telling lies and telling the truth won't lead us to the same destiny through the same path. 
and we should face the consequence of the path we decide to choose. To sum up everything that has been stated before, the thesis was right. There is not an absolute moral obligation to be honest, because lying can be useful in our daily lives, whereas it is to avoid something or to be safe. However, even when we are not obligated to be honest, when we lie, we make a path that might have consequences. And when we tell the truth, we make another path with different consequences. So, even if there is not an absolute moral obligation to be honest, our decisions define a part of our lives.